Hello, and welcome to this fourth grade episode of Math Matters. I'm Miss Ott, and today we will be interpreting graphs. For today's lesson, you will need pencil and paper. Go ahead and gather those things while we wait. Today, you will be learning to interpret and analyze information from bar and line graphs. On the screen, you can see a bar graph and a line graph. What does it mean to interpret and analyze them? It means that we will use them to get information and then think about what that information means. You will know that you are on your way to meeting your learning goal when you can, communicate what you are learning from the graph, answer questions using data from the graph, and create questions that can be answered using the graph. When you interpret and analyze, you will be sharing your thinking either in words or in writing. You will show that you are a communicator and a creative and critical thinker. This is part of a bar graph. What do you notice? Share your thinking out loud. Maybe you noticed that the bars on the sides seem to be higher than the bars in the middle. What do you wonder? Maybe you wondered what this bar graph is measuring or why those bars in the middle are so low. Some new information was added. What do you know now? We now know that each bar represents a month in the year. On the next slide, you will get some new information. Based on what you know now, what might be a good title for this graph? What evidence do you have that your title would make sense? A title that might make sense for this graph might be rainfall amounts. Since the bars are higher during the winter months and lower during the summer months, this graph could be for a place that has wetter weather during those months. Here's a bar graph about the favorite sports of students. One true statement based on this graph is that 10 students prefer basketball. On your paper, write three other true statements based on this graph.
Here are some of the true statements you may have written. Now, create a question about this graph that has an answer of 15. Write the question on your paper. Maybe you wrote a question like, how many students prefer baseball? Another question that has an answer of 15 is how many more students prefer hockey than baseball? Now we will use the information on the graph to answer some questions. Which two sports are favorites of the same number of students? Write the answer on your paper. The graph shows me that 25 students like soccer and 25 students like football. How many students were surveyed? In other words, how many students were asked what their favorite sport is? To answer this question, you need to know how many students chose each sport. The bars above each sport tell us how many students chose it. When we add those numbers up, the total is 105. If each student was only able to give one answer, then 105 students were surveyed. Let's check in with our learning goal and think about what we've done so far. We use the favorite sports graph to communicate information that you learned from the graph. You wrote it down. We also answered questions using data from the graph. And you created a question that could be answered using the data from the graph. On the screen, you see a line graph and the bar graph we've been using. The data in each graph is different. Aside from that, what else is different about these two graphs? What is the same about these two graphs? A line graph is used to show change over time. What is changing according to this graph?
the plant's height is what's changing. How is that height being measured? What unit is being used? The y-axis tells me that the height is being measured in inches. How often was the plant measured? The x-axis shows me that the plant was measured each week. One true statement based on this graph is that the plant was four inches tall during week two. On your paper, write three other true statements based on this graph. Here are some true statements you may have written. Write two questions that could be answered using the data from the graph. According to the graph, when did the plant grow the most? The plant grew the most between weeks three and four. I can tell because the line is the steepest between those two points. How many inches did the plant grow between those weeks? At week three, the plant was eight inches tall. By week four, it was 16 inches. That is a difference of eight inches. That means that the plant grew eight inches between weeks three and four. Let's check in with our learning goal. We used a line graph to communicate what you were learning, to answer questions using data from the graph, and to create questions that could be answered using the graph. How were you a communicator during the lesson today? You were a communicator when you wrote down information that you were learning from the graph. How were you a creative and critical thinker today? When you came up with questions that could be answered using information from the graphs, you were using your creative and critical thinking skills. In today's fourth grade episode of Math Matters, we interpreted and analyzed bar and line graphs. I'm Miss Ott. I hope you have a great day and keep on counting.